What is going on guys, it's Madmind back with another video and today I just have an updated Raiders theme team video as well as some uh, weekend league updates and now it is Sunday. Um, I didn't come out with a video yesterday, I didn't have anything else to like go over really. But here is the updated Raiders theme team. It, um, I'm actually a diehard Steelers fan. Steelers are not doing so hot against the Raiders right now but it looks like the Raiders have some injuries which I'm not saying oh that's good for the Steelers. Like it sucks. You don't want to see it but you know. I want the Steelers to win at the same time. But anyways, here is the theme team. Um, pretty much fully complete. I'm at 52 of 50. Now, I do need a couple more slots, like in gold. Um, and then Nick Kwiatkowski or something, the uh, backup or the linebacker. But here's what the team is looking like currently. Um, obviously, I don't have Derek Carr or any Raiders quarterback. Um, I have Zach Wilson with Gunslinger and uh, Inside Deadeye. Nathan Peterman behind him. Josh Jacobs, Jalen Richards, Theo Riddick. Um, Devin Hester, who gets Raiders chem. Uh, again, this is Raiders like chem theme team. It's not all just starters. Uh, Tyreek, again, I've open slots. I could get David Moore, who would be a little faster. But Tyreek's free. He gets the job done. Tyreek actually plays very well, so I'm keeping him. But we finally got Jerry Rice. Uh, last episode, I did have David Moore. I didn't have Jerry Rice. I actually was able to get Jerry Rice. Uh, I have a plus one speed strategy card. I need to get one more, but I don't want to spend all my coins at the moment. So I'll do that in the near future. But he has 95 speed, uh, 93 excel at 6'2", 200 pounds. Insane catching stats, insane route running stats as well. Such a good card, guys. Um, He's been playing great in weekend league. He hasn't fumbled either, even though he has pretty low fumbling. He breaks a lot of tackles, but he gets open. Um, I've been running him on my number one receiver, and I kind of want to move him to the slot where Hester's at because Hester actually has a majority of my... Uh, receptions it doesn't I can't show stats from this screen but I'll show stats at the end but Hester is doing a majority of the work in the slot in bunch and uh, bunch tight end which I run in the Raiders uh, offensive playbook so I want to move Jerry in because he's faster but also Jerry gets so open on deep balls that I want to leave him there so once they get another receiver or if I get David Moore with 94 speed I might put David Moore up at the number one because he'll have one less speed or if I get another strategy card Devin Hester maybe could get that on number one receiver but I really like both of these guys they pretty much make a majority of my catches Tyreek though plays amazing as well the offensive line is just Raiders chem all the way Gabe Jackson's actually a left guard and moved him to right guard um, don't have the full Richie Incognito but this offensive line has played completely fine offensive line never really matters Waller even though he's not fully upgraded on the Raiders theme team he plays phenomenally well guys um, 88 speed, 88 excel, 91 catch. That's all you need. Great route running as well. He plays great. Really like this card. Now, the only thing I'll complain about is he does, whenever he's on a streak, only a streak route, and you throw the ball, and let's say the quarterback is lined up behind him, he doesn't turn to make the catch. He drops them a lot. Um, Kittle, who doesn't really see the field, but he is there. Then Foster Morrow. Again, all these guys I'm using just because... Um, for the Raiders theme team, uh, Josh Allen just threw another touchdown pass. That's good for my fantasy team. <laughs> Anyways, uh, moving over to the defense. I think I pretty much went over this in the last video. Again, I need that middle linebacker. Um, but here's what the defense is looking like. I need to get Khalil Max full card and David Irvin. Not sure which one I would start. That's why I didn't get one yet. Plus, uh, Khalil Mack is stupidly expensive for these theme diamonds. And David Irvin is also surprisingly expensive right now. Probably because, again, he's a Raider. But Mike Haynes, guys, at cornerback number one. Now, I do have plus two speed for two strategy cards, or plus one speed for two strategy cards on defense. So he's at 95 speed, 94 excel. Um, this guy makes the most unbelievable plays in the world. Great coverage stats, great press at 6-2. Now, I once I get another corner, I'm going to move him to the slot cornerback because I feel like slot corners get more action, play into guys with more speed, Casey Hayward at 91 speed, though, has played phenomenally well, shockingly well as well uh, for me. So I'm actually pretty impressed by him. Then Philip Buchanan plays great on the outside as well. Uh, very, very good. So I have absolutely no um, no anything there. Like, they're playing great. DJ Swearinger was also another surprise. He only has 91 speed, speed and playing great over top. Trayvon Morig, I believe that's how you say it. He's my user right now. He's playing out of his mind. I mean, I guess my user's okay, but he's great. He feels great to user. Reggie Nelson on the other side, huge hits, forced a couple fumbles. Divine Diablo, 
This is my defensive standout player. He plays fantastic. He's not even fully upgraded. I'm waiting to do the challenges to get him for free. I don't want to spend the coins for no reason. Divine Diablo is playing out of his mind right now. Um, just even right now with my theme team and my chemistries, Divine Diablo, guys, he's at 90 speed, I believe, and 89 Excel. And I put him in zones, and he plays unbelievably well. He gets so many interceptions. Um, and then on the other side of him, I run 3-3-5 wide, and I audible down from 3-3-5 will. Um, I have Cam Chancellor. Where is he? Uh, Cam Chancellor right here. I'm still working on him, but like all of his stuff. But he does get boosts, even being at the sub linebacker spot. So he has 88 speed, 86 excel. 6-3, just like Divine Diablo. Same zone. Plays very well. I'm still trying to get him up, though. Like I said, a lot of uh, I'm very close on a lot of things. So hopefully I'll get there soon. Uh, special teams, I have the two, punter and kicker. That was expensive. Um, and then I do have Derek Thomas hiding back here. He plays great as well. But here's the strategy cards. Um, deep route specialist with the plus one speed. I have this play fake one, with, which gives some catching stats. Uh, and then two in the zones. Uh, both have different. This one's pursuit, and this one's, uh, what does that say? Man, I believe. And then I have skills position for Casey Hayward Jr. specifically. So that's what the team's looking like. Raiders offense, alternate base, 4-6 defense. Um I'm going to go over the stats, though, really quickly as we talk about Weekend League. Um, this weekend, I it was my f it's my first Weekend League like weekend that I've played that I've been confident to play. Confident to play. It's my third week of playing Madden, maybe second, I think. So this is my first like major week where I'm super confident in my team. And there's been a lot of standout players. Um, where are... There's Devin Hester. He's right up top. I love this stats screen. I think it's the coolest thing. But you guys will see when I move over to head-to-head -head in current uh, and receiving. Receiving catches 80 for 2,800 yards and 608 yards after catch. Now, just to be clear, I've only played one season. I've only played not 10 head-to-head -head games. Two of them I quit out. So you add just just in my weekend league games um, and my head -to This is like what, under 20, under 30 games played, he has this many yards and this many catches. Um, he's playing out of his mind. Uh, I just target him a lot. I won't show Jerry's because, again, I don't really target him much. Um, and then defensively, Divine Diablo here is definitely the standout player. I don't want to go over all my players. I've done this like 5 million times. But uh, on defense, for head-to-head, -head, not a lot of tackles, but look at the uh, interceptions. Where are they? Eight interceptions, eight of them which is huge. That's just crazy. Six pass deflections as well. He's just always there. You know, he's just always there, um, and he's always playing. So that's what the team is looking like right now. Uh, I'll go uh, show you guys my weekend. Actually, I won't. I'm just going to tell you because this takes forever. My weekend league record right now is 13-5, uh, and five, and I think that's where I'm going to stop this weekend. Uh, I have some stuff I need to do for school, but not just that. Um, I'm just like, I got to get back into it, you know? I've had a lot of, I've been playing terribly, terribly. I'm happy with 13 wins. The rewards this year are a lot better for not getting a ton of wins, which is very nice. So I'm not too upset, but um, we're just going to open some pro fantasy packs while I talk. But yeah, so weekend league, my first weekend getting 13 wins, I'm totally okay with. Uh, Tua got injured today, which kind of sucks for the Dolphins, but the Bills are stomping them. No elite, that really does suck. Um, but yeah, so I I think I think 13 wins is totally fine. It's like 70k just in quick sells plus packs, and I know the packs don't have quick sell values this year, so it's hit or miss. But I'm very happy with that. Very happy with uh, that amount of uh, just 13 wins. Uh, 70k for spending a couple hours of my time, you know, and it's fun, you know. Like some games are just complete stomps, other games are competitive. Um, obviously I don't like the competitive ones because that means I have to try harder, but you know, I would assume this DeMario Davis just goes for more than anything else. I usually do get an elite in the second round. There we go. There's the elite. Very bad one. Um, we'll do one more because these are not good right now. And it's going into the fourth quarter of the Steelers game. Oh boy. And the Raiders have the ball. Yeah, this is not looking pretty, you know. I think the Raiders might just beat the Steelers' entire division. <laughs> like, what is going on? They're going out of their minds right now. Defense is playing great. Uh, TJ Watt is hurt. Joe Hayden's hurt. That just screwed us. I didn't know. Um, I knew TJ Watt got injured, and that 
is just the worst thing that could have possibly happened. But having uh, Joe Hayden out is just detrimental. That's a really bad round two. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, if you did, please drop a like and subscribe on the video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.